Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to be doing a very in-depth review of Mac X HD Video Converter Pro for Windows. Obviously, it's a video converting program. Uh, I'm also going to be doing something I've never done before. I'm going to be doing a giveaway of that very same program. In fact, I'm going to be giving away 20 copies of that program. So here's how it's going to work. I'm going to give a very, very honest, unbiased review, okay, of the program. And then after that, I'm going to give you the details of how the giveaway works. It's really simple. So stick around for the review. And right after that, it's the giveaway. So let's start. Okay, so to get the program in the first place, obviously, you have to go to the MacX webpage. Uh, I'll put a link to this webpage in the video description. Just simply expand it and there you'll find it. Um, on this page, you have a list of a whole bunch of features, the pricing. You can buy the program directly from the website here, or you can click here and download the uh, Windows version. And if you download the trial version, when you install it and run it for the first time, it'll ask you, hey, do you have a serial key? If so, you can just input it there and run the program, uh, the full version if you have it by chance. All right, so this is the general interface of the program. All these numbers down here might look a little intimidating, but don't worry, I'll run through them really quickly. So here at the top, you have add file. You can browse for a file and you know add a video, or you can simply click and drag a file. Um, here you have remove, which will remove the selected file if you have more than one over here. Clear will clear everything in this list if, say, you have multiple videos. So let's just clear this for now. Now, there's a special button here that says YouTube. What this basically does is if you open it, it'll tell you that, hey, you can input a YouTube link or Vimeo break, whatever. There's a whole bunch of different uh, video pro services that you can download videos from. So, for example, you can download YouTube videos. Now, I would like to think you guys would respect YouTube content, including mine, and not download it. Um, you know, if it's something that's open to the community for downloading, then by all means use this function, but please be respectful, but that option is available and it's there. Options has, you know, a whole bunch of different options here. Again, this looks pretty complicated, but they give you examples as to what to do. Uh, you have basically, it's a template. Um, you can, you know, pre-select. So say I want to do something with the length. You can click length and you just basically change it here the number it gives you an example such as 106 minutes so on and so forth audio language um, you can change this if you want as you can see there's a whole bunch of languages to choose from and of course there's profile setting of course at the top here you have check new version um, it'll open up their web page and it'll tell you if there is one and what's new going back you basically have a tiny button here where it says about it gives you your information I'm not gonna open it because it'll give you my serial code number I don't want to do that um, clicking here will give you contact information I'm gonna say no and of course, here is help, which opens a web page, which gives you a whole bunch of topics, uh, you know, frequently asked subjects and all the other good stuff. So I'm going to add another video. So let's drag this back over here. I'm going to show you the main functions of the program. This is one of my YouTube videos I already uploaded. Uh, from here, you get a tiny little preview as to what's going on. You can also trim the video from here. So let's say I want to cut out uh, 42 seconds. There, I've cut out the first 42 seconds. Uh, so you basically, you can trim it from here. Uh, as you can see, you can take snapshots but I won't be doing that right now. When you add a video, then you have the option to output it. So here I've set it so that this video, when I convert it, it'll save to desktop inside converted folder, which is this, into AVI. Now this is the big chunk of the program. This is the most important part is these tabs down here. This is basically where you can choose how you want to output the file format. Let me go through these tabs really slowly. You can pause the video at any point and see which options are available. So under DVD, you have a whole bunch of different options. Again, it changes under HD video. Again, just pause the video here, see if there's any file format that you like. Um, then you can kind of see for yourself because to go through every single section would take way too long and make the video really boring. And then finally, you can just simply output to music. Right, so we'll do HD video. Um, you know, generally the options here are relatively the same, more or less, like aspect ratio and all that other good stuff. So we'll stick with HD video because, you know, nowadays everybody likes HD. You can change the audio quality. Um, basically, if you're not sure what this means, I would suggest never going below 128. Um, most of the time, if you have no idea what any of these things mean, you, should, you can usually just leave things as default. I've noticed that after converting many different types of videos that uh, the preset settings here are pretty darn good. Now, if you want, you can increase the volume. Say the video file I'm converting right here, the volume's too low. I can increase the decibel rating. So the output, the final copy, will be a lot louder than the original. Here you can change the kilobytes per second, video frame rate. Now, here's something very special about this. I have a camera that records in 60 frames per second. Movies that you watch in theaters uh, play back in 24 frames per second. 
Uh, some TV shows play back in 30 frames per second. My home camera records in 60 frames per second. I left this at auto because you'll notice that there's no output at 60 frames per second. And I noticed that it actually kept 60 frames per second video rec uh, playback, which I, I was really surprised by that. I thought that was totally awesome. Of course, here's the output format. As you can see, I'm under MPEG-4 and uh, you have, sorry, MP4, I only have MP4. Some of them will have different types of formats here. Uh, video code codec, as you can see, I have AVC HD and the output image setting. I tend to keep the original aspect ratio and all that other stuff. Now, here's another neat thing. Here you can choose the amount of cores you have or you want to use, rather. Uh, I have an i7 processor. I tend to just leave it on 8 and let it run in the background if I have a very large video file to um, convert. If you have um, an interlaced video, which is basically something recorded in 1080i, you can deinterlace it, of course. I think that's a really neat feature to have. Of course, you have used high quality engine, which will basically take longer to convert a video, but it makes the image quality a lot better. And of course, finally, you have force audio video sync. This basically means that if your audio and video is out of sync slightly, it'll try to fix it. It does a decent job, not perfect. I have yet to use a program that does it perfectly, but hey, it's there. And of course, here you have some neat functions like cropping and um, all the other stuff you can move it around. You can keep the aspect ratio, um, so it's pretty neat to have that option. Okay, and finally, the start button itself. This starts the actual conversion process. You have a neat option here that you can shut down the computer when the conversion has completed. And of course, you can open the folder containing the final con converted video. And if you want to simply stop, just stop. Now, video converting process time varies depending on your computer through a lot of you know different types of specs and of course how many programs you have running in the background. So per my, for my personal opinion, um, compared to other video converting programs I've used, I, I find this one to be extremely fast. So there isn't much more to show you guys. I mean, it's a very straightforward program. So to wrap up this review, I would give this program a four out of a five. And here's why. The pros of the device is that it's extremely very easy to use. Um, you, you got labels up here at the top, very simple to use, very user friendly. Um, there's a YouTube downloader, Actually, it's not only just YouTube, but as I mentioned, you can download from break.com, uh, Vimeo, and all the other good stuff, permitting that you're going to do something legal, of course. Um, you can simply drag and drop files. But here's the key element here for the video converting program. The labels here at the bottom are very straightforward, especially for people that are not too sure what they want to do. So say you want to convert something to a phone. Well, here's a phone section. Okay, you got an Android device. Well, this is the preset settings. And it gives you some different devices to choose from, like the HTC Nexus One, special options like trimming the video, uh, taking a snapshot. And of course, one neat thing I find is that you have special effects. You can crop the video. So not only is it a video converting program, it's kind of like a, well, a, a minuscule version of a video editing program as well. One thing that I'm very, very pleased about, as I said before, I, I can't believe that this thing actually converts at 60 frames per second, as long as I leave it in auto. Um, it kept at 60 frames per second from my original video recording, and I, I have never seen that before in any video converting program. If you get the full version, the developers are always updating, so you can always update your program right from here if you get the full version. Okay, so there are a couple of cons with this program, of course, and the first one is that it doesn't really handle MKV files too well. What I mean by that is, well, let me just click and drag this MKV file right here. Okay, this time it worked. What I've noticed is that there's a 50-50 chance this program will accept MKV files. Sometimes it'll crash uh, and I have to close the program because Windows forces me to and then I reopen it. Other times, as you just saw right now and right now again, it's doing it just fine and it will convert it just fine to no errors at all. So there's a 50-50 chance it'll convert MKV files. The other issue I have is that you can't output to MKV either. I would have expected it to be under HD video. I didn't find it. I went through all these sections. I could not find an option to output to MKV. So those two problems prevented this program from getting a perfect score. But nonetheless, everything else works fantastic and it's definitely worth checking out. Okay, so many of you might be wondering how do you take part in the giveaway? Well, it's really, really simple. The first thing you need to do is simply subscribe to my channel. So hit the subscribe button right now. The next thing you're gonna do is go to my Facebook page and hit the like button. So far it's easy, right? Good. Okay, the next thing you're gonna do is simply hit the like button on Mac X Facebook's page. That's really simple enough as it is. Now a link to my Facebook page and Mac X's 
Facebook page will be found in the video description. Just simply expand the video description and you'll find a link to both Facebook pages and hit the like button. Lastly, I want you to leave a comment. Uh, you can leave a comment on why you think you deserve a copy of this program or leave a comment think, telling me what you think could be improved about the program. So here's how the deadline for this giveaway works. Look at the about section of this video right now and notice the date. Two weeks from this date, the giveaway closes. The comment section will stay open, you know, if maybe people want to keep giving input as to what they think should be improved with this program, that's fine. But the giveaway closes two weeks from as of this video posting. So be sure to enter and 20 people will win. Now, one thing to keep in mind, for those of you that do win, uh, there will be a little bit of a stipulation. When you get the giveaway code, the only stipulation is that your pro version of the program will not be available for updating for free. But everything else will be free. You have unlimited video converting time. You have unlimited access to all the functions of the program. So it's a tiny stipulation is that you just can't update the program. But there'll be 20 copies available. So if you guys found this video useful, check my website in the description below. Hit the like button. It does help. Subscribe. And thanks for watching.